Homework is important. It doesn't directly influence the grade, it indirectly influences the grade. You mentioned that the students are not required to turn in the homework or it doesn't count towards the grade? Correct. So what's the motivating motivate factor for them to turn in the homework? Great question. And that is the central uh, problem with standards-based grading. Standards-based grading, biggest drawback is it requires intrinsic motivation on the student's part. And most of our students have not been trained to do homework for the sake of homework, to do homework for the sake of learning. So we're desperately trying to teach our students to instill that intrinsic motivation in them. You're not doing homework for points. You're doing homework because you need to practice these skills so that you can pass a test. If they don't do the homework, the consequence, it doesn't hurt their grade right away. But when they take that assessment, they're probably not going to do very well because they haven't been practicing. Not only that, but if they're not doing their homework, you're getting emails and phone calls from teachers, hopefully, saying your child is missing these homework assignments. They need to come to tutoring. At the end of the day, if a child is brilliant and can get away with not doing these homework assignments and taking that assessment and blowing it out of the water and mastering it completely, excellent. But in my opinion, there's a problem with our system at that point. We're not challenging that student effectively enough. If they're able to sit in a class, not do any work, kind of goof off, not pay attention, and then pass a test amazingly well, then we're not doing our job. So if they get a 4.0 on their first assessment, yeah, no. <laughs> you don't have to worry about priority standard two. You got that. You're going to be working on priority standard number three. And then they should be doing homework. They should be practicing skills, because there is something they don't know. Otherwise, they're in the wrong class. So we differentiate to our students very much so, so that every single student doesn't have busy work, they have homework that specifically applies to what their weaknesses are. And so the motivation comes in with wanting to do better, with not wanting to get grounded at home, with not staying for after school for tutoring with your teacher, because it comes down to it's easier to just do my homework and do well on these tests than to get hassled by my teacher, by my parents, by my friends for not doing my homework. And the other thing that we build in is we try as hard as we can to build the homework into our class activities and our class lessons so that if they're doing the homework, participation comes naturally. The very first thing that our teachers do you know, most of the time across the board is, okay, let's take out that homework assignment, let's talk over some of those answers, let's give you some feedback. What did you think the answer was to number one? What did you think the answer was to this? Let's talk about this, let's argue about this. Growth, development. If a student didn't do the homework assignment, they're sitting there saying, I didn't do it. How are you supposed to participate in this discussion? How are you supposed to, all right, well pay attention the best you can. And they feel a little bit, not singled out, but positive peer pressure. I need to do my homework, because if I don't do my homework, I can't participate. Blank generally means that they didn't do it. They just didn't do the homework assignment. It could also mean that they turned it in and the teacher hasn't graded it yet. So, I would say if it's a homework assignment from two weeks ago, they probably didn't do it. If it's a homework assignment from last night, the teacher probably hasn't entered the score yet. But it could just be that the teacher typed in the assignment because they assigned it yesterday. They collected it today and they just haven't entered the scores. So you have to look at the date and when it happened.